What if we told you that the secret to better health and longer life is hidden in an ancient Zen tradition? What if you could prevent and fight all diseases simply by adding five natural ingredients to your daily tea or coffee? If you're thinking this is too good to be true, Prepare to be amazed. In this Zen story, in fact, we will reveal a secret handed down by Buddhist monks for hundreds of years. A practice that has the power to transform your health and well-being. You will discover how five simple ingredients, used for centuries in oriental medicine, can revolutionize your daily routine and give you vitality, energy, and longevity. You will discover how. By adding these five ingredients to your daily tea and coffee, you will fight all diseases by making prevention an essential step. And if you stay until the end of the video, we will reveal a special ritual that will allow you to fully savor the benefits of these ingredients and reach a deep state of inner balance. So sit back, relax, and let yourself be carried away by the magic of this story steeped in Buddhist wisdom. But before continuing, Subscribe to the channel and activate notifications so that you are informed when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. The dawn painted the sky a pale orange, while a light breeze caressed the cherry blossom branches. In the heart of Japan, immersed in the quiet of an ancient Zen monastery, the venerable monk Kizo woke up with the first birdsong. His face full of wrinkles, a sign of wisdom and years lived in harmony with nature smiled sweetly as he stood up from his futon. Kizo headed towards the Zen garden, an oasis of peace where the carefully raked white gravel formed sinuous waves around the rocks smoothed by time. There, sitting in a lotus position, he began his morning meditation, letting his mind empty of all thoughts and open up to the serenity of the present moment. That day, a group of young novices had gathered around him, eager to learn the secrets of longevity and well-being that seemed to radiate from their master. Kizo, with a benevolent smile, invited them to follow him into the tea room, a sacred place where the preparation and consumption of tea were elevated to a spiritual ritual. My dear disciples, the monk began in a calm and deep voice. Today, I will reveal to you an ancient secret passed down from generation to generation by Zen monks. It is a simple ritual which, if practiced with consistency and awareness, can lead to a long, healthy life full of vitality. The young monks listened attentively, enraptured by the master's words. Kiso continued, You know well that our Zen philosophy places great emphasis on balance and harmony between body, mind, and spirit. Every gesture, every action, every thought can influence our general well-being. And so even the simple act of drinking a cup of tea or coffee can be transformed into a powerful tool for healing and spiritual growth. One of the novices named Taro raised his hand questioningly, Master, what do you mean? How can such common drinks have such a profound effect on our health? Kizo smiled, appreciating the young disciple's curiosity. The answer, Taro, lies in the ingredients we choose to add to our tea or coffee. I'm not talking about sugar or milk, but about those precious gifts that nature offers us to nourish our body and our soul. Having said this, the master stood up and walked towards an inlaid wooden cabinet, from which he took out five small ceramic jars. Each jar contained a colored and scented powder, which gave off an intense and inviting aroma. These, said Kizo, showing the jars to his disciples are the five secret ingredients that when added to your daily tea or coffee can transform your life the young monks approached curious to find out what those mysterious jars contained kizo began to present them one by one revealing their properties and benefits the first ingredient he said opening the first jar is ginger root a powerful ally for our health like fire that warms and purifies, ginger stimulates digestion, relieves inflammation, and strengthens the immune system. It is a real panacea, capable of rebalancing the body's energy and giving us extreme vitality. Another novice named Kenji asked, Master, how does ginger affect our body? Kizo explained, Ginger contains gingerol, 
a bioactive compound with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Furthermore, it stimulates the production of digestive enzymes, facilitating the assimilation of nutrients and preventing disorders such as bloating, nausea, and indigestion. And finally, ginger has a thermogenic effect, which means it increases body temperature promoting metabolism and fat burning. As the disciples nodded, happy to begin discovering these secret ingredients, Kizo held up the second jar. The jar contained a brown powder with a sweet, spicy scent. This is cinnamon, an ingredient that embodies balance and moderation, said the monk. Just as Zen philosophy teaches us to find harmony in all things, Cinnamon helps us maintain internal balance. It regulates blood sugar levels, protects against cardiovascular disease, and has antimicrobial properties that promote oral health. A young nun named Kana asked, Master, is cinnamon also suitable for those suffering from diabetes? Kiza replied, Yes, Hana. Cinnamon is an excellent ally for those suffering from diabetes. The experience of our healing monks and several studies carried out by scientists have shown that it can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce blood glucose levels. However, it is important to consult your doctor before using it as a natural remedy. Each of us is an individual in our own right. Kizo took another jar that contained a pale green powder with an intense and slightly minty aroma. This is cardamom, Kizo said a spice that reminds us of the importance of simplicity. Just as Zen philosophy teaches us to find beauty in small things, cardamom, despite its small size, offers a wealth of benefits. It promotes digestion, fights free radicals, and has diuretic properties that help eliminate toxins from the body. Another novice named Hiroshi asked, Master, can cardamom also be used in cooking? Kizo nodded. Of course, Hiroshi. Cardamom is a very versatile spice used in many cuisines around the world. In India, for example, it is a fundamental ingredient of masala chai, a spiced tea with a unique and intoxicating flavor. But cardamom can also be added to desserts, curries, and other savory preparations. Putting it in your tea or coffee can be critically important. Kizo moved to another jar, revealing small, dark brown nails with a pungent, aromatic scent. These are cloves, a symbol of warmth and comfort. Like a hug that envelops and protects us, cloves offer us relief from pain and help us overcome difficulties. They have analgesic, antiseptic, and antispasmodic properties, useful for relieving toothaches, headaches, and digestive disorders. A young monk named Daisu cast, Master, can cloves also be used for meditation? Kizo replied, Yes, Daisu, the aroma of cloves can promote relaxation and concentration, making them a valid aid for meditation practice. You can burn them as incense or add them to hot water to create an aromatic bath. And it is in tea and coffee that they can reach their maximum expression. The next powder that the monk revealed to his disciples was turmeric, a bright, intense yellow powder. Turmeric, he added, is also known as the golden spice of India. Like the sun that illuminates and warms, turmeric illuminates our path to health and well-being. It is a powerful anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-cancer capable of protecting our body from numerous diseases. A young nun asked, Master, how can we use turmeric in our daily life? Kizo explained, Turmeric can be added to many dishes, such as soups, meat, and salads. But you can also prepare a golden milk, a traditional Indian drink based on turmeric, vegetable milk, and spices, which has anti-inflammatory and relaxing properties. And of course, you can put a few grams of it in the tea and coffee you drink every day. This way, you will ensure that you have a constant supply of turmeric. After presenting the five secret ingredients, Kizo invited his disciples to practice and prepare a cup of spiced tea together. This way they would learn directly from him how to bring to life this powerful ritual he was talking about. With slow and measured gestures, he weighed the spices, 
mix them carefully and pour them into an earthenware teapot. Then, he added hot water and let the spices release their aromas and beneficial properties. While the tea was steeping, Kizo explained to his disciples the importance of mindfulness when preparing and drinking tea. Every gesture, he said, must be performed with attention and presence of mind. Only in this way will we be able to fully appreciate the flavor and benefits of this drink. When the tea was ready, Kizo poured it into small ceramic cups and offered it to his disciples. Drink slowly, he said, savoring each sip and letting the warmth and aroma envelop you. Feel how the spices spread through your body, bringing energy, well-being, and serenity. The young monks drank tea in silence, concentrating on the sensations they felt. The flavor was intense and complex, with sweet, spicy, and slightly spicy notes. The heat spread into the stomach, bringing a pleasant sensation of well-being. After finishing the tea, Kizil invited his disciples to share their impressions. Taro spoke first. Master, this tea is delicious. I have never drunk anything like it. I already feel more energetic and focused. Kenji added, I feel better too. My stomach feels lighter and my mind feels calmer. Hannah said, This tea is a real elixir of well-being. I feel like I've taken a little vacation in an exotic country. Kizo listened carefully to the words of his disciples, smiling satisfied. I'm glad you enjoyed the tea, he said. But remember that health and well-being are not just a matter of food and drink, but also of inner balance and harmony with nature. Practice meditation, cultivate gratitude, and be kind to yourself and others. Only in this way will you be able to achieve true happiness and inner peace. The young monks thanked Kizo for his teachings and promised to put his advice into practice. From that day, spicy tea became a daily ritual for them, a moment of sharing, reflection, and spiritual growth. And over the weeks, each of them experienced big changes in their health. There were those who had solved digestive problems, those who were finally more focused on studying, those who had defeated an annoying allergy. Kizo observed the progress of his disciples with joy. He knew that spiced tea and coffee were just a small piece of a larger path to health and happiness. But he was also convinced that if practiced with consistency and awareness, this simple ritual could lead to great changes in people's lives. One day, while Kizo was gathering medicinal herbs in the monastery garden, Taro approached him with a thoughtful look. Master, he said, I thought a lot about your words and asked myself, why are these five ingredients so special? What makes them so effective for our health? Kizo smiled, appreciating the depth of the young disciple's question. Taro, he replied, each ingredient has its own history, its own energy, its own symbolic meaning. But what makes them truly special is their ability to act in synergy, to complement and enhance each other. Together, they create a perfect harmony, a balance of flavors, aromas, and beneficial properties that nourishes the body and spirit. 